What's going on you guys? Spencer Pelham with First Light Fishing. We're down on a local tributary looking for some smallmouth bass today. Brought two eight weights with me. Mostly just testing out one rod with a new line on it. See how it handles it. I got a woolly bugger rigged up here and then this big obnoxious marabou fly that I tied last night. It's got some flash in it. Looks better in the water than it does on the on the rod, that's for sure. Hopefully we can hook up on some fish and give you guys a little bit of action. Kind of show you what I do out here and how I target these fish. Um, if you're interested in what I'm using today, it's two Maxon rods. I got a Gorge and the Stonefly kit here. One rigged up with a 7-8 Behemoth, then one rigged up with their Maxon Talon. New brand to me, testing them out. So far, I'm pretty impressed. A couple different presentations, a couple different depths. See where the fish are holding. Once we kind of figure them out, hopefully it'll be lights out. All right. Walking up to our first little run that we're gonna try today. I think we will start with intermediate line and marabou fly. We have no idea what we're gonna call it or what it even really is. It's just a marabou thing with other feathers and duff. Doesn't really have any rhyme or reason, to be honest. Board last night, tied it up. And, excuse me, by the way, we're starting with a sinking tip line. This thing out here, let's get into position. Let's put the little polarized sunnies on so we can actually see somewhat what we're stepping into. Yeah, definitely deep right in front of me, that's what I thought. All right, cool. Make a couple swings here. Let that sinking line kind of get down a little bit. Now I've fished this run a few times, so I know that we come up to a shelf on our left side. So I want to start stripping that fly in a little bit so it doesn't sink or hang up right below me. I can also help prevent that by keeping my rod tip just a little bit further out than I normally would to keep my fly in the zone. On my first few swings, I'm always kind of doing just a very passive swing. I'll just throw it out there, let the current do its thing with it, and then if something picks it up on the way through, sweet. If not, do a couple more, and then I'll start to impart some action, like maybe some rod twitches up river, like subtle ones, just enough to get a little bit of the bend in the rod, just to feel tension as I pull. Do a couple of those. If nothing happens here, then... Oh, we got hung up on a rock. Dang it. All right, let's go save that fly. It's in the shallow zone. Just nice subtle walk over to the fly. No need to rush. There we go. All right, now let's try down here, I guess. <laughs> Onto my rock. Here we are. Here we are. Yes, sir. Might be hard to see on camera. Oh, hung up on a rock. Okay. You can see the flies swimming. So it kind of gives you an idea what's happening down there. I think we got some grass. All right, all right. Let that go down. Swing a little bit. We're gonna step down here. Move just a little down river. We just saw some some crow little little crow daddies. Some little crow diddies. Crow diddly diddlies. These guys are so cool. Oh, we had a hit. There we go. Fish on. Just like that, guys. A little bit of a swing. So as we were stepping down, what probably happened was that fly was able to just sink a little bit more. And then um, that slight dead look, you know, I was just a little guy, no big deal, fish is a fish. Um, that little dead appearance, you know, that subtle little fall of that fly probably helped kind of make it look a little bit more uh, dead than it truly was so get the net out here just be nice on these fish we respect these fish god they fight so hard oh we got him out he's stuck on a rock he's digging in there all right pull him over to the slower water hopefully it's not bad he's well, maybe 10 incher nine or ten 
He ain't bad. He ain't bad, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to slip him into the nut here. Whee! Let's see here. Yeah. Maybe like a little eight inch small. Let's see, the rod's about 13 inches, so. Hey, he's... He ain't bad. He's a cute little guy. He was fun. He was right where he needed to be, and that's what we wanted. Oops, sorry. A little smallmouth bass. Let's let him go. Take off. All right, that was fun. Long story short, throw it out, swing it down, implement some action. Every now and then, give it a little pause and let that little fly just kind of flutter and die in there and let the water do its work with the feathers. And Oh, yeah. Every now and then, fish. If he's there, he'll take it. Score. I'm glad that one worked out the way it was supposed to for you guys. I felt him tug, so I stopped. And sometimes if you feel a hit, pause the fly and just let it feel like that fish maybe hit that little bait pattern and, you know, stunned it or whatever may have you. But yeah, here we go. One down. Didn't take too long. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's step down again. Whoa! Man almost overboard. Well, not overboard. Man almost down. Man down almost. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I got a little bit of a higher perspective here. I think I can see slightly more of the juice. More of the juice. The casting up here is going to be slightly more of a bee's niche, but... Oh, that wind too, man. We got a storm coming in. We're going to have to be... We're going to be have to be... We're going to have to... Whatever. Fish is hit. Come on. Fish on. Fish on. So I felt that hit. Oh shit, that's a better fish. Oh, you guys, we got a real one on here. Okay. Oh my lord. All right, I'm gonna have to be quiet. I gotta focus. Gotta focus. Oh, he's digging back over to his cover. Got to keep him... Oh, yeah. Got to keep him out of those rocks. Don't, don't you shake that hook. Don't you shake that hook. No. No, no, no. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice smallmouth, you guys. That is a nice smallmouth. This pattern is a nice pattern too. Okay. For this, for this river, you guys, this is a nice fish. Oh, baby, the jump. We're gonna step down here. Oh, we're gonna try and net him on his level. Oh, it's a nice fish, you guys. Yes. It's a nice fish for this creek. That's a nice fish for this creek. Oh yeah, okay, let's see here. I wanna be nice to him, but man, here you go, you guys. That's, that's one that we were looking for today. Easy 12, easy 12, all day 12. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice fish, dude. Now he's thrashing like crazy. All right. So again, let's get a quick measurement on him. Okay, so the cork handle, 13 inch handle. Oh yeah. Sorry guys. I gotta figure out this camera angle. We're looking at a solid 14 inch fish, easy. That's a nice small mouth. Let's let it go. Yes. Yes. Feels good. Textbook fish, man. Two in a row. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you guys don't know about Streamer Junkie, go check them out. Streamer Junkie 17 on Instagram. What's a nymph? Let's go. That was sick.
a sick textbook fish. Felt him smack it. Couldn't have asked for a better for a better experience right there with that guy. Thank you, fish. Whoa. All right, here we go. Casting platform engaged. That was a shite cast. Sorry. Fish on. Back to back, dude. Golly. Dude, it's a... They just fight so hard. I love smallmouth bass, dude. I love smallmouth bass. They just fight so hard. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at him just go. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Okay. Come on, buddy. We're gonna slip you right in her. Oh, yeah. Another fish, boys and girls. Oh yeah, another fish, here we go. Easy peasy. Hold on, buddy. No, 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 I don't wanna, there we go. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna do some fish. Let him go. Dude, this pattern is killing it. This freaking pattern is absolutely, absolutely lighting him up. Yeah. This is a this is a fun day. <laughs> I didn't expect this. So again, you guys, it's just something I tied up yesterday. It's just got a little bit of flash here. Marabou tail and some rooster saddle hat coat. Oh my god. They're tearing it up, boys and girls. See, I didn't even think this thing was gonna do that well, so I didn't even spend much time on really finishing it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to figure out a better way to tie this fly or just refine it I should say because this is just a prototype, you know, you know how it goes All right Up to the next hole ladies and gentlemen up to the next one. Oh, man It's so cool to live up here right on there. Oh like, like Right there That would be sick Hey, look, they cleared out the trail a little bit. Wow. Neat. Oh, so good right now. Oh, here's something. If you guys didn't know, I learned this from one of my clients, but if you're in Oregon and you see these little white, thinner blackberry plants, these are actually the native Oregon blackberry plants. And then these big ones that are like thicker, darker green with big thorns, those are apparently a invasive blackberry so like these ones right here these are all invasive blackberries i believe these are the appalachian blackberries if i'm not mistaken A client taught me that love 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 when i take clients out and they have stuff that i've never learned like that and they can just teach me things because it's kind of cool when i'm teaching them and then they're teaching me but uh yeah i just thought that was kind of neat oh my god are these raspberries did i just find <gasps> No way! I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe those are just blackberries. <laughs> I got really excited. Maybe those are just blackberries that aren't ripe yet or ready yet. Yeah, those are definitely blackberries that aren't ready yet. I just saw the same berry on a bush with blackberries. Dang it! Man, I thought I had found a raspberry bush. Raspberry. Yeah, well, what you gonna do? Oh no, someone lost a hat. Tragic! I don't know, Thorn's trying to kill me. It's a good thing I was aware. All right. Okay. Let's see what happens here. So sometimes I'll start straight across from me, as you can see, and I'll let the current kind of just pull that as that line sinks down. And then once it gets tension with the water, 
let it do its work. And the first one, I always kind of just do a nice passive, easy swing across until it goes below me. And then I'll strip it in, do another one. This one a little bit further downstream. 45 degree downstream or so. Let that thing go. A little upstream men that allows the fly and the line to sink just a little bit more unimpeded. And then you might have to give it a couple mends to figure out where the water is, current, the flow, whatever it is, get that tension. But definitely swung flies are my favorite. When you feel the fish take, it's usually incredibly aggressive. Like that. Like an instant take. <laughs> Even if they're little, that's pretty much the most obvious feeling in the world when a fish takes on a swung fly. So in my opinion, you guys, that is one of the easiest ways and fastest ways to find a fish in a run, especially if you're not sure they're there. There he goes, he's off. And yeah, so swung flies. Whee! All right, so we're back on the trail. We're gonna head back to the car. I think we got some time to hit another spot. Um, seeing some other anglers showing up, so pressure's probably gonna get high here. I'm gonna go find some water that hasn't been touched yet and see if we can't find a couple more players. All right, you guys, so we're basically on the road heading back home, which picked up a little bit of food and uh, we're calling it a day. The water traffic picked up pretty heavily. We got a bunch of kayakers out there at the spot now, and this river gets really, really pressured when it comes to the swimming and the kayakers. So, calling it a day. It did pretty well for the limited time we had. Time to go home, finish up some chores for the wifey, and uh, we'll do it again tomorrow. All right, see you guys on the next one. Thanks for tuning in, and hopefully you guys had some fun. Maybe learned a thing or two. If you didn't, sorry about that. Give me two thumbs down. If you did enjoy it, Give me a thumbs up. If you feel like subscribing, go ahead. I'll try and do more tutorial based and educational based fishing videos more than just me going out and slamming a bunch of fish. So feel free to ask any questions, leave comments, uh, anything you guys want to do. I'm trying to build a little community here for slight fishing. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. Spencer Pellum out. Have a good one.